Let's move on to the bad, the worst of the week. The Bengals offense, yet again. Um, this will probably be the last time I really mention them being on the bad list because I think we have to get used to this, and I'm tired of talking about it. But Joe Burrow, 20 of 30, 165 yards, no touchdowns. Joe Mixon had 73 total yards, but only one catch, so not a good day. Jamar Chase had the okay day today. Nine targets, seven catches, 73 yards. Like You're not going to beat yourself up about Jamar Chase putting up that stat line. You want more, but he's not hurting you. T. Higgins mentioned the, the injury, but even before it, four targets, two catches, 19 yards, no touchdowns. Like There's just not a lot happening here. Uh, they face the Titans this week, which are a pass funnel defense. They've been giving up. Big passing days to opposing offenses. Bengals still weren't able to do that. So uh, it's tough. I think like everybody has to really be downgraded. Jamar Chase is the only one that's really reliable at this point. And even him, he's kind of just like a mid wide receiver one now, as opposed to being, you know, locked in top three before. Um, it's a tough scene right now for the Bengals. Mac Jones, 12 21, 150 yards, no touchdowns, two interceptions. And now it's to fumble. He had 0.7 fancy points today before being benched for Bailey Zappi. Um, I don't know if Mac Jones is going to start next week or not. We've seen the Patriots do this before. They did it last year when Mac Jones was struggling. They had Bailey Zappi play a little. Uh, Mac Jones was actually doing all right prior to this game, but boy, was it just bad. And he looked like the yip, he had the yips or something like uh he was making really bad passes hurried up from clean pockets. Like something was off for him today. I don't know what quite, quite happened. And maybe that Dallas pass rush just really scared him. Um, but I mean, if you were playing Mac Jones and Superflex before this, you're going to have to now monitor to see if he's even going to play. Kirk Cousins, 12 19, 139 yards, did throw two touchdowns, but also threw two interceptions. So he had 9.56 fantasy points going under 10 fantasy points. Not good. And in this game, those 19 pass attempts, like, we're not used to this. Uh, before this, in every other game, he had at least 44 passes, which is how he was getting all these fantasy points. Like, the Vikings were this really pass heavy team. Um, now, they weren't like a super run heavy team in this game. Obviously, they ran more in this game than normal, but they also just didn't run a lot of plays in this game. Um, I don't think this is a trend or anything. It's just an unfortunate thing that happened for Kirk Cousins today. Uh, I guess it's worth mentioning that with Cam Akers in town now, it's possible they feel comfortable enough with their room that they'll use their running backs more. And, uh, you know, like Alexander Madison has played all right the last couple games. So maybe their offense starts to balance out a little bit, but I'm still going to expect them to be a pass-heavy team uh, as, as long as uh, Kirk Cousins is there, which, you know, there's been these little bit of rumors that maybe Kirk Cousins will be on the move this year getting traded, but we'll see. 